The general perception about electric two-wheelers is that they are slow, unexciting and cheap. But with the advent of modern electric two-wheeler brands and new products, that has changed. They are fast, exciting and have set new benchmarks when it comes to features. But when one pictures an electric two-wheeler, the first picture that comes into your mind is that of a scooter. But Bangalore-based Obain wants to start their electric motorcycle journey with an electric bike called the Roar. Now the Roar isn't the first electric bike by an Indian brand, but what Obin claims is that this is the fastest and the quickest electric motorcycle to go on sale in India. We only have a couple of hours with this motorcycle, so I'll try my best to answer as many queries as possible. Also let me add that this isn't the final production version. Obin claims that this is 80% production ready and the final production version will be ready in the next couple of months when deliveries will begin. Since the USP of the Obain Roar is its performance, let's dive into it first and check out its specifications. There are three riding modes, Eco, City and Havoc. Since we only have a limited time with the bike, I rode mostly in the Havoc and City mode. Also, you can switch through the riding modes on the move as well. Obain claims a 0 to 40 acceleration time of 3 seconds, which is equivalent to a 125cc to a 150cc motorcycle. Now, we didn't carry a V-Box with us, but in terms of acceleration, the road does feel a bit peppy. I was able to clock speeds around 90 kmph, post which the motorcycle feels a bit sluggish. Cruising speed is around 80 to 90 kmph, but there is a problem and that is the throttle calibration. In Havoc mode, the throttle feels like a switch, so either you accelerate or you lose momentum very quickly. My preferred mode is the city mode because in that the throttle calibration feels much more better and you can hold speeds easier. According to Obin, the slowness post 90 kmph is done so as to deliver a range of 100 km. We think the rider should have the freedom of exploring the full potential of the bike and the trade-off of lesser range is something most users will be fine with. What really impressed me about the motorcycle was the manner in which it handled the mountain roads of Nandi Hills. Despite the steady climb, not even once did the motor cut off something that we have experienced with other EV two-wheeler brands. And while the ambient temperatures went too harsh, the cooling system did its job perfectly. Despite having such a long wheelbase, the road was a joy to ride on the twisties of Nandi Hills. And that's courtesy the sharp rake angle and the C8 tyres that never felt nervous. The bike tips into corner rather easily, is very confident inspiring around the corners and you can really enjoy this motorcycle around the corners. But there is one problem and that is the regen and the inconsistent throttle which means you're constantly predicting and calculating how the bike will perform in each corner and that takes a lot away from the cornering experience. Another big miss are the brakes. The front doesn't offer enough bite while the rear is too sharp. So you have to be cautious how much pressure you're applying on the lever as the rear locks up easily and this can be scary. And given the performance on top, the poor braking performance stops you from exploring the full potential of this motorcycle, which is a bummer. Dual channel EBS would have made it much safer, but to keep costs low, it has been given a miss. And sadly, it isn't coming anytime soon as well. As for ride quality, it's a mixed bag here as well. The front is pliant, but the rear suspension is firm and you do feel the jolts on potholes. Another big talking point of the Obain Roar is its claim range which is very impressive. Again, we will have to get the bike for a proper road test to verify the above claims. But having ridden the bike at various speeds and on altering elevations, we still had around 50 km range left and never had any anxiety. So that's worth noting and praising. And when you do run out of juice, you can recharge the bike in 2 hours which is very impressive. But again, something we can only verify after a road test. On the styling front, Obain designers have done a good job. I like the new retro styling and it is something that does make the road stand out especially in the bright yellow shade of our test bike. The design influence from the Honda CB300R is clearly visible with the round LED headlight, large tank and the mass forward styling. But the road only looks good from a distance. 
come closer and the quality issues are apparent. The belt finish is extremely poor. Body panels have a good finish, while loose wires and exposed bolts doesn't make it look premium in any sense. Although the switch gear shared with the TVS Apache is of good quality. And coming to the instrument console, it takes quite a long to start, it is almost unreadable under sunlight and the large bezel makes it look very old. Also, you don't get navigation or any useful data on the screen and will have to rely on the app to access details. Oven officials claim that the final product will have a better finish, but given that they only have a couple of months on hand and the quality issues are plenty, we aren't too confident if everything will be fixed so soon. And now it's time for the verdict, but before we head there, let us check out its pricing. One thing for sure is that Obain has stayed true to its claims with respect to range, performance and acceleration. And the pricing too is competitive when you compare to its rivals given the hardware, range and handling dynamics. But it isn't perfect. There are a lot of quality issues. Yes, we know that this isn't the final production variant, but the amount of work that needs to be done is a lot. The instrument console, for example, doesn't look premium and doesn't have any connected features. And while it delivers performance, it doesn't deliver the proper riding experience owing to its unpredictable throttle. Having said that, we genuinely believe that the Obin Roar has the potential of becoming the best electric motorcycle to go on sale in India. Now, all that depends on whether Oben engineers can fix all those issues before this motorcycle goes on sale during the festive season and only then can we verify all these claims. 